Did you see that video from Chicago with those kids? Just like, ransacking. They ran up to that white lady oh. in front of her apartment, just beat the shit out of her. Horrifying. It's so crazy. Horrifying. That this is happening in modern 2023 in Chicago. Right. Can you imagine? Giant groups of kids just beating a lady up for no reason. Because she was white. Let's not. But imagine that. She's a white girl. Yeah. And the look her on house. her face. She probably Sheer never terror. even seen a fight, let right. alone been in a fight. Sheer complete terror. And they Beyond beat and the they, fuck out of her. There's all hands of all different angles just beating you. And what is it? At the end of the day, what sparked it? What what created that madness? What what brings you to the state of I, I, I just got to beat someone because they look like that's madness. It's also a recognition that law enforcement has lost control. Like the fact that they can do that and they think they could do that as little kids. There's like young teenagers doing this, smashing windows and doing and meeting up in groups of hundreds. Like what do they do? Are they organizing on social media? Like mm -hmm. what are they doing? For sure, what are they doing? Yeah, yeah, it's happening lots of places. And how how is no one stopping that? How is no one stopping? That? You don't see the organ uh, you know? organizing on social media. Yeah, it's crazy. With everything that's seen on your phone, they don't see certain things. Yeah, so how do you not see that? Come on, man. But I don't think the the way the policing is in this country, the way the people have lost respect for law enforcement, it's all that defund the police shit has real consequences, and that's <sighs> one of them. You're seeing it right there. It's so spooky, man. It's so well, spooky how quickly things can like deteriorate. But they also dehumanize everything. When you're a police officer, what you don't realize is. Most of the times, those cops are the first one to see your dead child. Yeah. And you know the trauma that brings? Yeah. Like, you, if you got kids at home and you just, you became an officer because you had a, you, you grew up in a nowhere out situation, or maybe your parents got divorced or whatever, and the only way that you know to survive is you get a pension and blah, 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 and try to take the test. You take a test. You know, most people think cops are just, you know, they're guys at issue. Most of, their, most of the things they're showing up to is watching people maimed and killed and fighting and beating women. I mean, the most horror for so many fire de people in the fire department, police, you show up, and they're like, yeah, the kid's dead in the back. And you're like, you, you want to call the mom? You want, oh. you know what kind of, like, that's the side that no one will ever talk about. And that's yeah. the side, you know, you just show a clip that happened at one particular incident. And then the demons, uh, we call it news media, the, the monsters, the creators of pure evil and violence and mind control and emotion control spit out. And then, boom, they, they hit the nerve knowing they can manipulate and control and spread violence. And well, it's, it's also activists wanted to say that the problem was cops are showing up, law enforcement, for things that should just involve counselors, and that these cops are not qualified to do that, so they're going to defund that aspect of the police. The problem is just that narrative alone devalues the police. It's like you put this thing out there that we need to stop funding the police. The police are the problem. No, the, the crime is the fucking problem. And the problem is no one does a damn thing to prevent long-term crime by enriching communities, by going into these places. Instead of spending $40 billion to fight this fucking proxy war with Ukraine and Russia, instead of doing that, w what about fixing these fucking cities that have been economically disenfranchised since... Who the fuck knows when? That's right. Like, they're, they're just decade upon decade upon decade of the same kinds of crime in the same neighborhoods, and you expect people to come out of that and pull themselves up by their bootstraps. It's fucking ridiculous. Bro, I remember, well, I remember the early 90s. I was, I was doing something in Harlem. I just, there was a show in Harlem. It was a comedy club there, the Uptown Comedy Club. I remember that place. Yeah, and I spent, I learned so much. I had the most incredible conversation um it was with tracy morgan and we were on the street and we just got so open and honest and we just started asking each other questions and when it came to things like welfare i realized that is such a uh that's such a purposely driven in my opinion government trap and just the way he was explaining, he's like, you know, if I have a kid, they give me money. And he's like, we don't have options. They keep us here. You know, they put certain foods here. They, put, they, they offer to pay us money. And 
I'd love to see the statistic of when welfare came out, how communities thrived or plummeted after that because they didn't have a drive for themselves. They had the, they're under the illusion that they're going to be taken care of. That is a very dangerous thing for people if you can keep them complacent and like with a certain level of income and just, just keep that amount of money where they don't have to do anything. And a lot of people get conditioned. And, but the other thing is like, how do you get people off of that? Like without extreme willpower and discipline and like working really, really hard to get off of that. And then deciding you're not going to accept that money anymore. Like for some people, it's easier to just stay in that little system. And that goes on in every level. Yeah. That goes on every level. When, mm-hmm. you, when every finance level you hit, you kind of, I mean, it gets easier with the more finances, but. It gets a lot easier. <laughs> it gets a lot easier. It's a lot so easier. Can, yes, but yes. The, the thing about it is that it's A, it's human nature, but B, there's a lack of hope. So, like, if you gave that welfare check to places where people are thriving and doing things that they love to do, then it wouldn't be so bad because they just keep doing things they love to do and thriving, right? And then maybe they would find other stuff to do for a living and they wouldn't need welfare. But if you're doing it to people that live in despair, mm. that's when it's sick. Mm. Like, th- this, there's something sick about it because it's like all you're doing is putting a little Band-Aid on it and you are giving people food and you are giving people shelter. And that is good. It's definitely better than them being homeless. But that is not fixing anything. And the only way to fix it is to give people hope. And you can't have any hope when you live in a community where like everything's fucked where like everyone's drugs run rapid violence, cigarettes gangs uh, la- liquor everything. store everything. everything everything runs rapid yeah and that that's the real problem the real problem is is people have a lack of hope lack of positive role models everybody that you know is either involved in crime or the victim of crime or avoiding crime or it's like you're you're just dealing with constant violence and crime but give me your money yeah. and I'll go fix Ukraine it's crazy, right? It's like, how do we not address these problems in America? How do they, like, whatever the, the debates come up every year? It's, it's the same thing. It's the same thing. Pro-life, pro-choice. Yeah, they're like, we're going to get jobs. Like, bitch, <laughs> well, you are not. <laughs> we, we have created so many jobs in this administration. <laughs> and we're going to do so much for the military. That's one thing I love about the new Twitter. When anybody posts something, even from the White House, it gets fact-checked. And the White House has had to pull tweets because they're just bullshit. 